62 at the Players' Championship in June last year. However, one wow. Caven, not only did he beat, he beat him 6-1 the month before that. That was on a weekend where he won two tournaments in that single weekend. That was uh, on the opening day, he beat Kev Payne a 6-1 in the quarterfinal of the Players' Championships, won that tournament, then came back the next day and won the other one as well. Not many people have done that in the PDC. It's an exclusive club. Yes, he certainly had a good little purple patch through the middle of last year, did uh, Jamie Caven. But he'll look to um, take out a big shot here to set himself up nicely on a double should Kevin Payton not take out 63 and he well he's left a two dark finish but it may be immaterial and Kevin Painter that is clinical and it was a scruffy leg up until then the best we saw from Kevin Painter was at 100 on each visit to the board but 63 and two darts you cannot argue with that now Jamie Caven looks to be finding his range around about that treble 20. He comes down the board and nails treble 19 bang in the middle of the bed. He was doing that with alarming regularity against the world number one Michael Van Guren during his 6-4 victory. Jamie had a good run here last year. Made it to the semi-finals in Dusseldorf. Wow. Before losing to Simon Whitlock, 6-4. He beat Kim Hybricks, Mervyn King and Dave Chisnell on the way to that semi-final, did uh, Jamie. Nice. Yeah, he could meet Whitlock again, but it would be in the final. quite some way back here wow. and he gets himself down to a finish there's a little bit of pressure it's a double top for Jamie Caven good marker doesn't use it and those two troubles from Kevin Painter 132 ball ball double 16 is what he's looking at there's the first ball well he may go trouble 14 here yes he did he didn't like the lie of the first start in getting another one into the ball's eye so he went for trouble 14 for double top. Didn't hit it. That an effort. Would have looked spectacular. But two tens for Jamie Caven. Now back up to double five. Well, Jamie Caven was not missing shots like that against Michael Van Gerwen in the previous round. It's a late birthday present for Kevin Painter. It turned 47 yesterday and oh I think he thought it was in the wrong double it's it's halfway, to the, the halfway to the board <laughs> well, another chance for Jamie Caven he split it razor the eyebrows well <laughs> he only wanted the single he's hit the treble so it's double one for Jamie Caven and he's missed that well what a mess double trouble from both players early on in this quarter final It's a long way inside that double 15. He's looking at double four now, Kevin Painter. It's not there. Wow, well, oh, well. I'll take you back to Gibraltar on the last European Tour event. Justin Pike and Pete Dios. 32 darts that leg took. We may have something similar here. Jamie Caven nearly hit the treble one again, which would have left him double one instead of double two. He used to say he won't be back. This is... A it's all a bit silly for a quarter-final of a big tournament like this. And Kevin Painter puts an end to it. I know it's 32 dart leg, it's just a 22 dart leg. But I'm not sure we've seen one go that long in this European darts open so far. Well, he, he, won, he won it ugly. But it is a break of throw and a 2-0 lead early on here. 55. Well, Jamie Caven just needs to compose himself. Think back to what he was doing, how he was feeling last night. Well, when he was 
tearing apart Michael Van Gerwen. Just an unreal 104 average. One and two. Straight out one in for a maximum first one of the match. Yes, yeah, that third dart. I'm not sure whether it was snuck in or not, but Rush Bray confirmed it. The first 180 call of this match. Yeah, it really was a high quality affair to finish their third round action last night. Last match on stage, Jamie Caven and Mervyn uh, and uh, Michael Van Gerwin. And uh, they didn't disappoint us, that was for sure. No, and things have picked up in this one. It's a better leg of dots. Both guys down to a finish after three visits to the board. No trouble for Kev Painter means that Jamie Caven has got an opportunity here. Now, 161 is not going to go, but if he can set it up, Kevin Painter, the pressure is on him to take out that 110. Jamie Caven's not applied as much pressure as he could have done. The artist, 90 left. Trouble 18. He's got it for double 18. And a 3-0 lead, the artist. Wow, he's strolling through this one at the moment. He has been playing well all weekend as Kevin Painter. Having to come through the qualifiers. And is he about to add a third seed to his list of scalps here in Dusseldorf this weekend? Well, at the minute, the scoring's not there for Jamie Caven, and the finishing certainly hasn't been. Not a good combination when you've got a player. Something needs to change for him. Yeah, Kevin Page has been a class act for a good while on the PDC circuit, that epic world final a decade ago now, where he lost in sudden death to Phil Taylor. Players' Championship Finals winner in 2011, <laughs> took part in the Premier League the following year. He's got about half a dozen PDC ranking titles to his name. Yeah, he's not had a great 2014 so far, it has to be said. He's made quarter-finals of ranking events three times before this weekend. So this, a victory here against Jamie Caven, would be his best performance of the year. Caven set that up nicely, though. So Kevin Painter, if he is going to break for a second time and go 4-0 up, while well, he needed to hit the treble 20 a couple of times. That's not happening. So Jamie Caven has got a chance to finally get a leg on the board. After messing around in that second leg with 22 data that Kev Painter won it in, Jamie Caven's just trying to find a double. And, oh, down for double 10. Last start in hand. There it is. Eventually, Jabba finds his target. Relief for the man from Derby. A leg on the board. Wow. To stop the artist from completely running away with things. Look at that. None out of 11 before he hit that double 10. Not pretty reading. Anybody from one of Jamie Caven's Darts Academy, so that young guys and girls he helps teach the game you're watching this do as he says not as he does <laughs> when it comes to doubles in this game <laughs> wow. solid time from caven keeps him in touch with kevin painter here though this game certainly isn't over One hundred and thirty-four. no peter wright awaiting the winner of this one our first semi-final is up next. Simon Whitlock against Gary Anderson. Should be another fantastic game here at the Maritime Hotel in Dusseldorf. Kevin Painter leaving himself a nice little two-dart finish, but Jamie Caven, he's going to be there. Ready to break back if... Painter doesn't take this out. Double top he wants. Oh, he's bent the wire. 
Okay. And he's got it in with his second dot. Kevin Painter takes a 4-1 lead. And Jamie Caven, well, he has got a mountain to climb. Yeah, Painter. Good finishing a 15 data to re-establish that three-leg advantage over his opponent. 55. That second leg, the one standing out like a sore thumb. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Probably, probably not one to mention in the review. I'm not sure Kev will be mentioning it. It's a good first start for Jamie Caden. Should be able to follow it with his third. Wow! He can't. He sees a bit of frustration on his face there, Jamie Caven. He felt that having got his first start exactly where he wanted it. It's a fantastic opportunity to put in a big score. In the end, Kevin Painter has put in a decent one of his own. And closed the gap to Jamie Caven in this one. This is a leg that Caven's really got to win. Wow. Otherwise. Painter would be thrown for the match in the next leg. It must be frustrating, you know, as you said, coming off the stage last night, buzzing, having knocked out the number one seed, taking out the big out wow. shots, averaging over 104. You have a night's sleep, come to the same hockey, and it's just not happening for you. No, it's just not there at the moment. Nice. Not managed to do himself a shot here, Kevin Painter. 111, 111 checkout. He's taken out 110 already in this game. 91 left. Treble 17 for double top. Kevin Painter's hit the treble for them. Well, 5-1. Nice. Another break and throw it would have been. Well, well, well. It's double 12. And Caven knows he really needed to hit that. And Painter with a chance to go one leg away from victory, but instead... Caven reduces the arrears again. Well, both players kicking off this leg with disappointing scores of 58 each. 55. Well, Kevin Painter nearly went within one leg of the match and all of a sudden he's finding himself coming under a bit of pressure on his own throat right. he's not found a treble in his first two visits or a big treble i should say there's another treble it's no good to him <laughs> <laughs> and jamie caven has not had to throw brilliantly here to steal a march on the artist <laughs> comes down the board to avoid going in the fives again Neither of them want to win this leg. No, it's, uh, it's all gone a bit uh, pear-shaped. The seventh leg. Well, there's a, another treble. <laughs> but there is a, a better treble with that last dart. Needed that, did Kevin. Well, 140 gets him down to a finish. snarl from Kevin Painter. Well, Spitting words after those darts. Yes, he, he does like a snarl on the hockey, does Kevin. Well, he came close to 111 in the last leg. Can he take out 109 here? Well, he's going to get a dart at it. Ooh, nice. misses inside. Kevin, Kevin Painter, the likelihood is he'll be back. Jamie Caven, he's doesn't look like he's throwing good enough darts to take out a 160 right now. A shake of the head. This is not going according to plan. Okay, Painter sneaks it in the corner of the double eight. He takes a 5-2 lead and Jamie Caven now has to win four straight legs. Yes, and those big combination wow. out shots that saw him knock out Michael Van Gerwen last night just uh, just not happening this afternoon for Jamie well he matched Van Gerwen in the score and if anything he might have outscored him at times Jamie Caven and it's just not been there today once again we see just below all three of those treble beds 
I think that. But we have seen people come from 5-2 down to win this weekend as Jamie Caven can't find a maximum would have been his first in the match. And this is a bit better from Kevin Painter. Wow. Much more like it. Right. Second 180 of the game for the artist. And it puts him in a position to close out the match here. 139. He may well get six darts from here with Caven back on 164. Can the artist finish it in style? The first dart is there. Oh, on the bullseye. Look at this. Oh, what a finish! Kevin Painter saves the best till last. 139. Gets it a huge celebration. And the birthday boy this weekend has given this German crowd a bit of a present to finish off.